Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. We've got some snowflakes in the air. Really doesn't actually matter your elevation today. It's even uh, cold enough for a few flakes in the Champlain Valley. But for the most part, this is not an accumulating snow, at least not on a wide scale. But it'll feel like winter out there today, but especially tomorrow. In fact, I think most of us tomorrow are in the 20s for highs. But it only lasts for one day. We turn warmer later in the week, even some 50s in the cards towards the end of the week. But right now it's mostly 30s, 36 in Montpelier, a few low 40s once you go down towards Lebanon, points south of there. But that's it in terms of the 40s team. We have a few breaks too tonight in the clouds, and that'll make for a really cold night. There will be some single digits on the map. And tomorrow starts with a lot of clouds, but I think the sun wins out. It's a really cold sunset tomorrow. But I think almost all of us will be totally clear when that happens before the clouds come back on Thursday. It will be breezy too tomorrow. So with highs in the 20s, we're talking about wind chill values in the teens, if not single digits like in the Adirondacks or the Northeast Kingdom. But there's the low 50s on Friday and 40s for Saturday. So it's just not sustained cold as we go into this weekend. Single digits in Saranac Lake tonight, teens across the Northeast Kingdom, about 20 or so in the Champlain Valley. Tomorrow starts with a lot of clouds and then the sun winds out in a big way. I think it's almost a totally clear sky by sunset. Of course, we have less time to make that happen. Sunset not far from 430 in the afternoon now. 30 the high tomorrow in Plattsburgh and low 30s even in southern Vermont. So for the ski resorts, tomorrow is an all day snowmaking day. But then it warms up. We have 40s for Thursday, 50s Friday. Even the overnight lows there are above freezing through the whole weekend. In fact, there's rain in the forecast for Sunday into Monday and Thanksgiving day 10 all the way on the right at this point looks seasonable with 40s and dry, but of course far out. We'll keep an eye on it, Tom.